All right. Hey, Jennifer. Welcome. You are the first official Boardy Fellow. That's very exciting. How do you feel about that? I'm super excited. It's a lot of fun talking to Boardy. So, um, yeah, it's definitely cool. Super- cool. 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 So, You've got a pretty interesting and special story. You were at Harvard, you dropped out to start your own company, and now you're in YC with it. So like, you're a little bit of a wunderkind. So why don't you tell us a little bit about like yourself, what you're working on, and just what your journey kind of was from high school to university to now building this company. So I was a junior at Harvard and I studied physics at CS. And currently I'm in the Bay Area doing some quantum research at Stanford. And now I'm working on YC in kind of a related space like quantum photonics AI. And it's been a lot of fun. I was interested in physics ever since, I'd say, high school. Yeah. When I came into college, I wanted to become a physics professor. I was like, I like teaching, I like research. I did a few semesters in, of research in the lab, and I really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed talking to people there. But at the same time, like if you've ever seen a physics lab, like quantum means that you can't have any windows, which means you're like in a dungeon all the time. And if you do experimental physics, you're like, you know, constantly there with like a screwdriver, like building parts. And sometimes it felt a tiny bit lonely. I was like, so I went more of the startup path. And so the first startup I joined was a kind of like an ed tech, consumer tech startup, Asbury Pi of quantum computing. Yeah. So we made like these one keyboard registers that, you know, people could play with and experiment with to have a more of an intuition for quantum excitement and joy into my life. And I was like, okay, maybe this means that I should keep on going with the startup path. Yeah. So I took a leave. And that's why I started working on uh, my YC idea, which I had um, for quite a while. It's like never. Yeah. So tell me what this idea is and kind of, yeah, I mean, I'll I'll try to keep up. I know quantum physics is probably going to go over my head, but I'll try to keep up. Yeah, definitely. So I think some of the advice we got from YC was actually not to fully um, talk about our idea just yet. But okay. You can say like more in general, um, it's going to be in like the quantum space, in the photonic space. It's kind of like an AI design tool. Got it. And are you working, like, do you have a co-founder? Is it just you? How's that? How's the team? Yeah, I have a wonderful co-founder. His name is Adam Mahatri, and he's from Stanford, um, same year as me, studies physics, and he worked on nuclear simulations, which turns out to be very, very helpful for what we're doing right now. Wow, this is like serious stuff. And I think it's, you know, I think something that you said that really jumps out at me is like this idea that you kind of went into school or like went into Harvard thinking like, I want to be a professor and like, this is kind of what I want to do. And then you kind of got that experience and you're like, well, there's a lot about what this work looks like. That's maybe not how I want to spend my time and spend my days. And then having that experience of like, I worked with a startup and I felt, oh, I feel really good or I feel really excited. Tell me, I guess, before we jump into even boardy stuff, like, tell me, like, was that a big tough decision to decide to leave school and pursue the startup or was it kind of like nope this is it I'm this feels really natural and I'm gonna do it it felt pretty natural so although it was a very last minute decision and yeah. I was looking back maybe a tiny bit risky but I think yeah I have of course <laughs> more than a <laughs> tiny bit yeah <laughs> yeah well, I mean yeah but I feel like if it's something that you know draws you and pushes you to like work harder um and it's something that you enjoy then like definitely go with it Nice, nice. And so I guess, tell me how Bordy fits into all of this. How did you even come across Bordy? Yeah, so I came across Bordy a few months ago, I think just on LinkedIn. Um, I saw a photo with like the box logo and I thought it was like really, really cute. And I was curious what it was. And so I called it. This Bordy guy has a really high EQ, maybe higher than mine. <laughs> so I had a lot of fun and I really enjoyed like, this was my first time interacting, I guess, with a voice AI agent in that way. I thought it was pretty creative, and so I really, really enjoyed it. And then I think in the following months, I called Bordy a few more times. Most of them feel like my friends or my family. I was like, "Look at this yeah. cool new like AI like agent or something like that." So I thought it was, I thought it was quite cool. And then I think I came across this fellowship because I was showing one of my friends at Stanford, Bordy. And then at the end of the call, he was like, "You, know, you seem like." You're fit to apply for the fellowship. Uh, What do you want to just apply with everything that you've told me in the past, like 10, 15 minutes? Wow. Okay. And so you ended up, so if I'm getting this correctly, you came across Bordy on LinkedIn, just were like, cute logo. Let me see what this is about. 
And then it was just kind of a fun thing. Like you were showing him around to your friends. Like it's just like a cool, interesting, fun tool. And then, so you called him a couple of times in different months. And then when you applied for the fellowship, what was that? Like you just called him and said, hey, Bordy, I want to join the fellowship. Like what was that conversation like? So actually, I didn't know he had a fellowship, suddenly enough. Yeah, I called him because, yeah, I think this was maybe a few weeks ago. I'm sure I was purely showing a friend. And then at the end of it, he was like, you seem like you're fit for fellowship. Like, What's the fellowship? And then he explained like what the fellowship was. Bordy said that to you. Bordy yeah. said you're fit for a fellowship. I thought your friend was telling you that. Okay, no. So you were just chatting with Bordy and then Bordy himself suggested you're a fit for the fellowship. Do you want to apply? Yes. Yeah. Got it. And then he asked you some questions about the fellowship. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And then tell me a little bit about, so like that was a few weeks ago. You had that conversation, you know, move on. You're doing your own thing. What happened since then? Like what were your touch points with Bordy? Yeah. Yeah. So I find it super cool. I guess like the times that I've talked to Bordy and just like told him what I've worked on, um, he definitely connected me with us with some pretty cool people, students and investors in physics and quantum and just like, I guess, general deep tech space. Um, and, you know, like you tell him what you're working on and then he sends you an email. He's like, you should meet this cool new person. And if you guys both agree, then like you get to form a new connection and it's super cool talking to these people. Um, I think. Yeah, people in general are just super excited to use Forty. I think it's the first time I've seen anything like this type of product. So that was really Yeah, neat. I guess what about it? Because it sounds like, you know, you just came across it and you were, um, you know, you were kind of just like, this is really cool and I want to show it to people. And now you're getting all these connections through it. Like what excites you about Forty? Like you're like, I've never seen a product like this. Yeah, but what stands out about it to you? I think many parts. The first part probably just like how you interact with it that I thought was amazing. It's like, although it's not a real person, it almost feels like you're talking to someone real. And yeah. um, sometimes like they're able to better summarize like what you're talking about than like, I guess yourself. And the other thing is like, I guess Morty is able to like um, search for interesting people and match you with similar interests or are doing like similar things or like could be mutually helpful um, with each other. And I think that is like a really, really cool aspect because otherwise you'd have to do a lot of searching yourself. Right. You know, it's hard to come across these people from all around the world. And it's super neat that Morty just brings people together from like basically anywhere with a, with a cellular connection. That's so cool. And so like, yeah, how's that, how's Bordy compared to some of those other ways of connecting with people or growing your network? Yeah, I'd say these people are, I mean, from, from my experience, I think these people are often like people that I don't share any existing LinkedIn connections with. That's what it means. Um, it's interesting that, you know, you can really explore around and meet people with similar interests. Yeah, I think definitely like all sorts of people and Usually yeah. it's really high quality people that are willing to chat. Got it. And so like how many connections have you actually like met through Bordy? I think one. One person that you've specifically met and like it's been a fit, but I'm guessing you were getting more emails through Bordy. Yeah, I've gotten maybe like three or four emails. Three to four emails, yeah. And it's interesting because I think the premise with Bordy too is like it's less about, you know, filling your calendar with like, you know, a hundred people to meet, but it's more about kind of finding those few people that might really be super aligned or might be able to add a lot of value. So it sounds like that's been your experience too. Like, is there, I guess, out of the connection you had with Bordy or like the person that you met, like what's, has anything kind of come out of it that you're like, oh, that was really interesting or that really helped push the project forward that I'm working on? It was interesting that, like, I guess, Bordy connects you with more than one type of person. So sometimes it's been like investors and sometimes it's students. And sometimes it's like people who are, who are working in some sort of like quantum industry or not even in quantum. I thought I was because Bordy more in the future, I think. Probably. Cool. And I mean, and you're you're now like the first official fellow. Um, That means, you know, you're getting a lot of perks you get to come to toronto tech week you get ten thousand dollars cash prize and bordy is now putting you through a special track where he's work like he's pitching you to more and more people in his network and he's trying to get you the connections that are really going to help grow your business i guess as you look forward in the fellowship what are you kind of most excited about or what do you feel like man if bordy like did this thing for me or unlocked this or connected me to this kind of person that would just be like game changer yeah i think there's definitely a lot of like um interesting people that Bordy can connect you with. I'm excited to, you know, talk with more people that maybe can join our team, talk with more Esther's and just people who 
share an interest in like quantum and AI deep tech, like more generally. Uh, also super excited for Toronto Tech Week, tech week but I think it'll be a lot of Speaking to Bordy is, you know, really simple. And it sounds like your process with him was like, you know, I just thought this was a fun thing. I wasn't even really trying to get anything out of it. And then you just had this conversation. He told you about the fellowship. And then, you know, he started connecting you with people. And now you're one of the first, like, you're the first fellow. So, like, you know, I think it's a really simple process to talk to Bordy. But at the same time, you know, Bordy's not just connect. Like, Bordy's not giving everybody the opportunities that, like, you know, you're getting. Every person who calls and doesn't get connected to every kind of person or whatever. So, like, I'm just curious, like, what do you think is about you and your experience and maybe how you interacted with Bordy that, um, you know, got you to be one of the fellows or got you to get the results that you're getting out of it? I guess my hypothesis is, like, maybe when I talk to him, I tell him, like, more, like, the story about my personal life. Um, and mm. maybe that was interesting. I guess another thing is quantum is relatively niche, I guess. Um, and um, I guess the fellowship is more for young students. And there's maybe not that many young students who are working in quantum field and who are also doing like startup things. Um, so maybe that was interesting. Yeah, I know. I know yeah. there's a lot of cool people that talk to Bordy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's um, I think what you said, like those are both really interesting points, right? Like one that, you know, you weren't really treating it like, let me just talk to you like I'm giving you my resume. Like you're actually talking to him like a person and like you're talking about your personal life and just like sharing that kind of extra context, which I think is really powerful. And like I've experienced that with Bordy myself. And then also I think this is a really cool tip where it's like if you're a young person, like if you're working in a niche that doesn't have that many you know young people or whatever like or even that many people in it it's like you really have a chance to stand out just because there's like not as much competition right cool awesome and I guess like if people want to you know follow your journey if people want to see what Jennifer's doing how our company's growing maybe if they want to reach out to you what's the best way they can do that yeah um it's either LinkedIn Gmail well anything works cool awesome well Thanks so much, Jennifer. This was a lot of fun. And congratulations again on being the first Bordy Fellow. Thank you so much. Yeah, super exciting and exciting to join. Cool. Cool.